All right, Common Core Math Standards. This is a great fun way to learn basic skills and also Common Core problem solving. So we're going to look at patterns and functions here. This is a game called 10, 20, 30. I turn over cards and I'm looking for three cards that add up to 10, 20, or 30. So that's to be three cards. So there's a 12, 15. I keep going. There's 10. I have a 2, a 3, and a 5. Add up to 10. Three continuous cards. So there's a 10. Aces are 1s. Face cards are 10. So there's an 11. There's a 20. 10, 11. Looking for a 9. So I have 19. There's a 13, 14, 15, 23. I could also go this direction, so I could use one, two, three cards, or I could go one, two, three cards, or I could go one, two, three cards, or these three cards. So they have to be continuous. So I'm 15, I'm looking for a five or a 10. There's a five to give me 20. You'll catch on. There's a 10 and a 10, there's a 20. It's like a solitaire game. I want to use all my cards up. There's a 1. There's a 10. So I'm looking for a 10. 18, 19. There's a 20 right there. So there's a queen. 10 and 10. So there's a 20. So I have 16. I'm looking for a 4. 13. Looking for a 7. 14 and 7. It's not going to work. There's a 10. I'm looking for a 2 or a 1. There's a 20, I'm looking for a 10. There's 30. There's a 10, so I'm looking for another 10. There it is. So I got 13 or 15, so I'm looking for a 5 or a 7. There's a 10, I'm looking for a 10. There's a 10, 19. 15, looking for a 5 or a 2. Looking for a 1, looking for a 10, 17, this will give me 16, 16, yeah it is 16, and 4 gives me 20, there's 27, oh there's a 10, 10 and 10, must have missed that earlier, 17, looking for a 3, Oh, got it. Looking for a 10 or a 4. There's a 10. Looking for, there's 10, 16. 10, 10, 10 is 20. 9, 16. Looking for a 10. 12, 18. Looking for a 2. There it is. There's a 20. So there's my final hand, it's like solitaire, I want to get left with one card, and I didn't win this game. So let's go ahead and play another game. Okay, here's my second game, this one's going pretty well. Here I have a 7, 2, and a 1, that's 10, 5, 13, 23, so I'm looking for a 2 or a 5, now I'm looking for a 5 or a 10, there's a 9, 14, looking for a 6. All right, 6, 20. Game's 10, 20, 30. So I'm looking now for a 5 or a 7. Oh, there's 30. So now I have 13. So there's 15 and 5. So now I'm looking for a 2. 17, looking for a 3. There it is. 17 and 3 is 20, and I'm left with a 10. I win the game. So all of the cards add up to increments of 10, 20, or 30. Okay, that's a great right. game, 10, 20, 30. Um, I like it because it teaches you to anticipate what numbers are coming, good refresher of quick, accurate precision. And then here's the common core problem. I'd like you to write a proof of what the sum of all cards in a deck of cards is. So add up all of the cards in a deck of cards. Okay, does everybody have the solution there? Well, here's the solution. If one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then I have my jack, 
queen, king. So this is my ace. This is my jack, queen, king. So I'm looking at one suit here. What do they add up to? One and nine is a 10. Two and eight is a 10. Three and a seven is a 10. Four and a six is a 10. So I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, five. So one suit is 85. Two suits is 170. Three suits is 340. So all of the decks of a card to add up to 340. Hopefully you got that pattern. Um, looked at a lot of your papers, they look good. And it's a good way, again, to learn accuracy and basic so skills for SAT type problem, where I think it says add up the digits from one to 99. And you do it very similarly. You have one, two, three, 96, 97, 98, 99. From here you figure out 99 and one is 100. 98 and 2 is 100, 3 and 97 is 100. So I have 49 values that sum to 100. So that's 4,900. And the middle value of 50. So the sum of numbers from 1 to 99 is 4,950. I've seen that on the SAT before.